too early. Hello. We had lovely breakfast. I managed to make myself a waffle in one of those waffle contraptions. It was delicious. But there were apple juice machines stopped making apple juice and it was just like weird yellow water, which was um, terrifying, so I didn't have that. Right now I'm in a class with the same people who ran the class yesterday for sculpting green stuff. Today we're sculpting things like fur and feathers. I uh, hope we get a little bit more out of it this time. Yesterday the, the class was very hands-off. We got to make some hair. But other than that, was just watching the teachers make things. And when it's a tiny miniature and you're 10, 15 feet away from them, you can't actually see what they're doing. So I'm hoping that they have more supplies and more examples today so I can actually learn how to make things from scratch by myself. I just finished up my green stuff class and this one was actually a ton better. We learned how to make scales, we learned how to make feathers, and we learned how to make fur. Um, I'm not particularly good as you saw, but it is definitely something that I could see myself trying at home and getting better at the more I practice, especially the scales. I want to like convert all the minis I have now to be like mermen or something and put scales on absolutely everything. I'm so exhausted today. With all the uploading of videos and stuff, I'm not really getting very much sleep.
this is a 3D printed eye beast for copyright reasons. Um, all of this is 3D printed. The material we use is a plastic known as PLA, polylactic acid, and it's made as a corn byproduct. So it's totally environmentally friendly. It will decompose in an active compost pile, so it's not going to fill up the landfill when you're done or anything. It's also 100% non toxic to print at home. A lot of plastics, if you heat them up in a printer, um, they'll give off toxic fumes and stuff like ABS, the things that Legos are made out of. Uh, this is very strong material, totally non toxic, environmentally friendly, and it's very cheap. Um, a typical dungeon wall will cost about 35 to 40 cents to print off. A standard 28 yeah, millimeter it miniature it cost about a nickel. Wow. So, for $200, you can get a good starter printer and become your own train manufacturer, miniature manufacturer for very cheap. And then with our system, all of the walls link together with these little clips. So all you have to do is clip the pieces together and you can make complete rooms ahead of time. And as the players progress through the dungeon, pull out the room from under the table and place it. Or you can make complete levels and stack them and everything stays together. I was a kid once. Tom, are you no longer doing the paper stuff? No, we're still doing paper. Uh, it's just the 3D has become so incredibly popular. We've shifted our focus for a year here to this. I think it's very exciting. Uh, we will be going back to doing more paper. You know, we've got a customer base of you know, over 40,000 customers, and a very high percentage of them in just two years have switched to the 3D printed. How does this stuff paint? Wonderfully. This is all done with craft acrylics. This is just apple barrel and um, craft essentials and. Um, uh, ceramic coat, you can get them at Walmart, Hobby Lobby. It's the big two ounce bottles for 50 cents. But it takes it wonderfully without even priming. Oh, I was going to ask, do you have to prime it? Okay. I do for I miniatures and stuff, for the train. No, it just goes straight. Uh, do you have a. Did you sell this stuff on your website? Yes. What's your website? FatDragonGames.com. Thank you so much. Thanks. this workshop we learned how to paint skin tones like a professional as you can see from the example that he showed us at the start I was a little skeptical about what he meant by that I guess he uh, meant that it was going to be more of an artist's impression of how skin tones look and how skin tone works and um, we started by coating the figure in purple and then adding skin tone on top of that to mimic how real skin works Again, it's not my style. I'm glad I tried it out so I know that I don't really want to make my skin look like that. But it was still kind of interesting uh, from a very theoretical point of view. Then we had lunch. We got lunch in the convention center this time. It was more expensive than you think it should be. <laughs> and it was fine. It was okay. And now I'm about to run an event where we have people paint their own My Little Ponies and it's gonna be fun, it's part of the anime track here and at the Gen Con. Um, so if you're gonna be a Gen Con, you should check it out and paint your own My Little Pony. I'm Marion and I work for Gen Con. Hi Nelly, how's it going? <laughs> Hi. Um, so I've been having a really good convention so far. We've just been in here for an hour or two in the Rio Grande room. Um, playing games, trying new stuff for our kids uh, and also for adults. I um, did several rounds of speed painting, as you can see, when I'm because I'm covered with paint. Um, I did several heats. I've done three. Uh, my friend David won the first one we were in. He's, he's an excellent speed painter. Uh, I won the second one, 
And in the third one that me and David did together, we came in first and second, and they were a little irritated. They're like, here, take your minis. Now we have to go judge again. So I felt kind of nice. <laughs> nice. But it's fun. I really enjoy that um, because I don't paint as much as I should. It sits me down for an hour, and it forces me to paint a mini yeah, oh yeah, you in get decent it. shape. Yeah, not yeah. awesome, but decent shape. Here, so I enjoyed that a lot. And the other thing I'm enjoying is just hanging out with my friends and socializing that I don't really have time to do at Gen Con. Awesome. Thank you. So nice Thank you, Nelly. I will see you later. Thanks for the cheese memo. There's cheese in my room if you need it. Sky Stories. Stay here. Hey look, it's Golden Sky Stories. It's a heartwarming adventure about playing animals, uh, animal spirits who can turn into kids and help uh -huh. people become friends and overcome problems. Uh, we were wondering where he was. Thank you for letting us know that you saw him in town. We'll be right there to pick him up. Um, and uh, the girl sees uh, her flopped at the, at the floor and looks up uh, and sees the boy and smiles but you could spend you could spend feelings if you want to succeed. And tell the camera what happened. I farted. <laughs> My lap got canceled. Apparently three people bought tickets. So no fading sun for me. Now I'm gonna have to eat spaghetti. One shot, one opportunity. <clears throat> There's spaghetti on spaghetti already. <laughs> If only you could see the look she's giving me behind the camera right now. <laughs> Who married this? Well, since Derek's event didn't fire, what happens is that Origins will refund you the ticket if an event actually gets cancelled. The event was going to be in the Hyatt, and it's, it's a, like a 10 minute walk away from the customer service desk at the front in the convention center. So we walked over there, and we talked to customer service to get it refunded and it turns out that you can't get it refunded uh, unless you get it signed by the HQ where the event was supposed to happen. And apparently they don't have phones or don't really have any way to communicate or message each other. So the only way we're going to get refunded is if we walk all the way back to where the event was supposed to happen, get somebody to stamp it and walk all the way back. So that's been great. And now we're deciding what we're gonna do next. I want spaghetti. Derek wants to plan his game for tomorrow. And I wanna play a game with friends tonight. So we'll see what happens. He's not paying attention. So I guess we're gonna try and get spaghetti. Pharaoh's tomb. What do we think? Uh, Boo! 
Uh, yeah, we tried really hard. We tried everything, but there's a certain card we needed to get to be able to figure out a lot of the clues. And we ended up just like looking at all the cards because we got so frustrated with the game. And there's a specific card that we needed and we, there was no way, we, we retraced our steps and there's no way that we could figure out how we would get that one card that would unlock kind of the rest of the game for us, so we just had to give up, which is really disappointing. I had fun with the other one, the lab one, but the feral one was very, very disappointing. Look at the happy people, everybody do the shaky face. Maybe I'm just not, you know, made to do puzzle games. But it did make me feel like an idiot, and I generally don't think I'm an idiot, but maybe I do. I, would you confirm whether I'm an idiot or not? You are definitely not an idiot at the scale to which you feel. Thank you. Appreciate that. So, um, that probably means we we're either missing something that we just didn't understand the rules, um, or, or maybe this is a misprint, because it just doesn't make any sense at all, and I keep looking online to see what I'm doing wrong, and I don't see errata or... And we opened the box here, right? Yes. And I'm actually trying to watch, like, a Dice Tower review right now to try to figure out what, what's going wrong, and I... We're heading back to our own hotel room. We did not have fun with the exit game. I cannot recommend uh, that one. I played the lab, that one was just fine. It is about one-ish, well, just before one. And we are heading back to the hotel room and I'm gonna spend like a couple of hours editing my video. This video. Sorry if it's a little bit of a bummer. I'm gonna try and have more fun tomorrow and have a more chirpy and cheerful vlog for you. Oop, what that camera? What are you doing? <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> tomorrow we are playing Ritama. I'm gonna be cosplaying B from being Puppy Cat. We're gonna be playing Derek. Well, Derek has a game. I am gonna skip a painting event tomorrow because I have an idea of what the guy's gonna teach and I am not interested in learning those things. So tomorrow's nice, wide, and open, and I like it.